Good morning. It's day nine of our 12 days of fitness. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying the process and what we're doing. Now today we were supposed to be doing arms and core, but yesterday I had my booster jab and uh, of course today I've got a bit of a dead arm today. So my demonstrations of the exercises would have been absolutely rubbish. So I thought instead, let's just swap days over. Day 10 is usually a 10 minute booty uh, workout and we're going to do that today instead and I wanted to just show you that you can just do so much in just a 10 minute block to really strengthen a part of your body so that you're not constantly thinking oh, I've got to do an hour at the gym or I've got to go out and do an hour of anything doing these little blocks that we're doing is absolutely perfect for keeping you feeling toned keeping you energized and keeping that metabolism lifted now remember, with the 12 Days of Fitness, the idea is to just keep ourselves boosted on the build up to Christmas. We have only got three more days to go, including today. So I just really want you to just enjoy what we're doing. And the workout that we're going to do today is we're actually going to be just taking a number of exercises. We're going to be doing 10 repetitions of each exercise. Please work out to a level that feels right for you. And uh, if there's any time you need to stop, just either if we're on our feet, march your legs. If we're on our hands and knees, we will be doing some work on the floor as well that you can actually do um, a child's pose where you're pushing back and just easing off your arms and then coming back and joining in. So let's get started. I'll put a little bit of music on. We are going to start on our feet today. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of um, music on. Here we go. We're not going to be doing it so that you can actually work out to the music, but I always find it's quite nice having a beat in the background. But we're going to start off with an exercise where we actually are going to be really adding into the work into our glutes, okay? So I'm just going to show you from the side. We're going to go into reverse lunge. We're going to keep this leg bent, lean forward and take your leg up, reverse lunge into a stand, okay? You're going to use your core in order to make sure that you get your balance. But are you, if you find that going from this position to this position and back is hard, then just go from reverse lunge to a stand, okay? So you can just reverse lunge and stand. And so always remember, you can always take it shallow or you can go deeper. And I'm gonna let you choose how your body's feeling today. It's always good just to work out to the way you feel on the day. I can definitely guarantee that at the moment with how I feel with my arm, you always adapt, okay? So we're gonna start off with 10 moves, right leg first, okay? Five, six, off we go. So we're going to go reverse lunge, back lunge, coming back and up, good. So reverse lunge, do a straight leg back, into that reverse and up, that's two. Find that balance. Three on carpet, it's a lot harder. Four. And up, you'll feel the standing leg down. This is five, good, five more. Now, if anything feels uncomfortable, go shallower. That's six. You can also regress just the one reverse lunge. Okay, that's seven. Let you go fast. Eight. Nine, one more, tummies are pulled in. 10, march those legs. Can you feel the standing leg? We keep building into it. We're gonna actually do the other side now. So we're gonna take our other leg back. Five, six, off we go. So we go back, take it back and down. Now if I'm going too fast, you can slow this down and do it in a time frame that works for you. That's two, tummies around, shoulders are up and back. Keeping this leg bent to the front, good. Back, that's four. Squeeze that glute as you can lift that leg. Squeeze it here, good. Five. Six, now you find my hand one is easier than the other. It's all to do with our balance, seven. But you've got this. Eight. Nine, last one. Good, your heart rate will be going up. Good, march those legs. Excellent. If you like a little bit of a slap. We're going to do one more standing move. You're going to brace yourself. We're actually going to be doing a standing forward leg raise. I'm just going to show you. So you're going to be lifting your knee, raising out, and coming down. Now, you don't have to have it that height. I can do it with that leg, but I can't do it with that leg. Do it to a level that works for you. Abdominals are pulled in. We are working those abdominals today as well. All right. Standing nice and strong. Five, six, off we go. So make sure that standing leg is nice and secure. One, 
two, three, four, five, you've got this, six, find that balance, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, good job, march those legs, come back to centre, find your balance, this is my wobbly legs and I'm going to just really have to concentrate, five, six, off we go, so knee raise, come over, one, tummy's in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, those are not my favourites, I'll be honest, but it's always good to get that balance in, really work our quads and our legs, now we're going to go down onto the floor, so coming down onto the floor, <clears throat> we're actually going to be going onto our backs to start with, and I'm wanting to just show you from the front, I want you to put your feet together in like a frog position, okay, knees out to the side, we're going to be doing a frog bridge, so keep your knees open, feet are coming together, like palms together, you can actually have them further away from you or closer to you, you're going to be pressing together as you go into a bridge, arms down by your sides, we're going to do 10 raises and lowers, 10 pulses, are you ready, five, six, off we go, so up and down, so squeeze up, really activate through those glutes, keeping those knees open, two, three, four, tummies in, five, six, keep those legs out, seven, eight, nine, hold it there, that's ten, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower, bring those knees together, bring those into your chest, have a little bit of a rock through, good, now then, feet to the floor, you've got two options here, we're actually going to be going into a bridge, so you can go into a normal bridge up and down, or if you want to make it a little bit harder, put your knees together, place one leg up in that 45 degree, in line with your other knee, and we're going to be going up and down on that single leg, we're going to do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, you find your position, five, six, off we go, so raise and lower, two, three, you've got this, four, really push into your heel, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, put that knee down, leg the leg down, now remember if you're just doing bridges that's absolutely fine too, Raise the other leg, we're standing into that standing leg, five, six, off we go. So raise, try and keep as stable as you can as you do this, pressing into your shoulders. This is three, four, five, six, how are you doing? Seven, eight, nine, ten, bring that leg to the floor. Now then we're going to do an MMA kick up. What that means is we're going to actually press up as if you're pushing somebody off you, leg comes down. So you're going to be pressing up into a bridge, one leg in, uh, and after the other. We're going to do 10 of these kick-ups. Press away as if your foot, flex your foot as you press away as if you've got somebody on you, you're pressing them off you. Five, six, off we go. So kicking up and down, up and down. That's two, three, lift, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, bring those knees in, well done, let's roll over onto our hands and knees, okay, we're going to do some nice concentrated work on our hands and knees, we're going to start off with some donkey kicks, we're going to do everything on our right to start with, and then we'll repeat pieces on our left, all right, so I want you to make sure when you're on your hands and knees, make sure those wrists are underneath those shoulders, knees are underneath the hips, and just pull up through those abdominals, okay? You need to put your hands on your tummy to remind you to keep pulling up, it's really, really important, flat back. All right, we're going to go, first of all, 10 donkey kicks, then we're going to be 10 donkey kick pulses, so this is a donkey kick, flex foot, coming down, okay, so we're going to do 10 of those, 
and then 10 pulses, and then I'll take you from there. Okay, five, six, off we go. It's going up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, hold at the top. We're gonna pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Extend that leg. Bring it in. Extend. Keep that knee high. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, hold. We're going to take our foot to the floor vertically up and down and up. That's one. This is two. Looking down to the floor. Three, four, five. You've got this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want you to take it up and hold it here. Now you want it to be in hip line, and I want you to bring your knee towards your elbow, and then press it back. So these are into hydrant position, and then press it back to a straight leg. This is three. Tummies are in, everything's stable. Four. Five, how are your legs doing? Six, you've got this. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, excellent. Let's take ourselves back into child's pose. We're going to do all that again on our left side. Now I'm going to just turn around to face you this way. Otherwise I would be into the Christmas tree. All right, so if you want to just hold it in your, into your child's pose, have a nice stretch back. Coming back up onto your arms. We're going to start off, remember those donkey kicks. Five, six, off we go. So flex that foot, raise to the ceiling. Two, looking to the floor. Three, tummies are pulled in. Four, five, everything's stable from your hips forward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold, let's pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, in and extend. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend out, up and down. Here we go. So down and raise. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, toes in, eight, nine, ten. Take your leg up. We're going to take it hip height, bring it forwards and take it back. This is two. If you can keep it at elbow height or above elbow height, that's good. Four, five. If you can't, just do what you can. Six, seven. Child's pose of anything feels hard. Eight, nine. 10. Good. Take that leg back. Let's go into child's pose. Well done. We've got one more move to go, guys. Really good. So I want you to lie down on your tummies. All right. Put your head on your forehead onto your hands. So like this. I want you to press through your hips into the floor so that your hips are really pressing in your pelvic bone is into the floor. And I want you to raise your legs, straight legs. And I want you to take them from a center hip width apart position out and then back to narrow again. I'm going to have to bring myself over a time fix. I'm hitting things. Are you ready for 10? Five, six, off we go. So raise them up. Now tummies are up to the ceiling. Two, squeeze. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nearly there. Nine, keep squeezing. 10, excellent, and relax. And you're done. Let's go back into child's pose. And that's it, your booty workout for the day. Now, these are great 
exercises, they build up this really big muscle group in your buttocks at the top, throughout the whole of the buttock actually, into your hip area. And these muscles go around and wrap around into your abdominals. So they really help protect and support your body and any movement that you're doing, so it's great. All right, let's come up. And you're done for this, so make sure you have lots of water. Just gonna turn this music down and off. So make sure you have lots of water today. Make sure that you keep hydrating through. What this happens a lot of the time, this time of year is we dehydrate. Our skin feels really lackluster. We feel mentally lackluster because we're just feeling sluggish. And we're just almost like waiting for the day to get by so that we can get to the weekend and count down to the days. Now, if you're doing it with me today, fantastic. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that. Let Give me a thumbs up comment below and let me know how you feel. Um, but if you haven't done it with me, just do it as a hashtag replay again. Let me know that you're doing it and you're enjoying it. And I really hope you enjoyed that workout. So tomorrow we will be doing arms and core. So if you have some cans or some light hand weights, bring those with you. We're going to alternate between those moves so that you can really strengthen through your arms, strengthen through your chest and shoulders as well. But have a great rest of your day. I can't believe it's day 10 tomorrow already. We're nearly there, guys. Keep going. All right. See you soon. Bye.